Welcome to my channel guys. I'm so happy to have all of you here watching me. Um, it's really hot in here because I got all these lights on. Mommy. Mommy wants to be in the video. Mommy wants to be in the video. She's like, fuck off. I recently went to, not went to because I work it there. I bought some stuff at Sephora. Um, I've been really into skincare lately, so everything I show you is pretty much skincare related. Um, I show you in this haul is pretty much skincare related. I do have, I think, two products that aren't skincare related. But yeah, so if you want to see what I got, then please keep watching. Oh, and I want to make a special little part of this video. I wanted to make a special part of this video because I just want to thank every single one of you guys for what you've done for me and the support you've shown me we are at 2000 over 2000 subscribers and i just can't believe it like i'm still in shock like i remember thinking what's it gonna feel like to hit 500 subscribers or what is it gonna feel like to hit a thousand subscribers a thousand subscribers and every time i hit a milestone it doesn't even feel real like it, it honestly not to sound like debbie downer but this stuff does not happen to me um just in general i i don't i don't know it's just stuff like hitting a hundred thousand views on my highlight contour video for round faces that hundred thousand views guys that is insane I don't know if I told you either. I think I put it on my Snapchat, but I don't think I told you guys. I actually had somebody recognize me at my job for from that video. Somebody that just just average person recognized me, and it's like crazy to think about somebody recognizing you. Like there's so many people in the world, and how is it that this one person watched my video that lives that one person? new recognize me and just it's absolutely crazy to me but i'm i'm so thankful for you guys you have no idea and i'm not just saying this just because i genuinely feel connections to all of you guys when i sit down and talk it gets easier and easier to talk to you guys because i know sorry my face is all itchy it gets easier and easier to talk to you guys because you guys are so supportive you're so amazing you leave the sweetest comments and I can't thank you guys enough for that I can't thank you enough for supporting me subscribing um, when you like the videos that means you're supporting me and not just about the numbers but like the words that you guys say like there's a, there's handfuls of people that they always comment on my videos they always say sweet things and they don't have to say that stuff you know it and you, and you just think, wow, I'm actually, I don't want to cry. I'm not going to cry. To think that you make an impact on somebody. Fuck. <laughs> Twin Girls is not that type of video. Impact on somebody is the greatest feeling in the world. And to, you know, see people say, um... Just to see people say that you're amazing and you deserve more views and you deserve and all these things that I deserve and I never thought that I deserved. I was better than anybody. I never thought that I deserved. I mean, of course, I want people to join our family and I want people to watch me and subscribe, but the connection that I have with you guys is so much more important and real than any of the numbers. And... I just, never in my wildest dreams would I think that I would be doing YouTube the way I am. I thought maybe it would just be like a hobby to where I sometimes do it, sometimes upload occasionally once in a blue moon. Never would I imagine investing in a camera, an expensive camera at that. Never would I imagine invest, investing in my lighting. Never would I imagine building the family that I have with you guys. and. I know this is getting way longer than it should, but 
I wanted to make its own separate video, but I thought why not include it with a Sephora haul so it's not just me like getting emotional. So anyways, that's what I'm going to say about this. I think you all 2,000 and however many rest there are of you, I want to thank every single one of you for hitting that subscribe button. And all the sweet comments you guys leave, oh, it just means everything to me and you have no idea how much this has changed my life in so many ways. So yeah, enough about that. Um, let's get into the Sephora haul. So who gets excited when like you get like a big bag from Sephora? Because I feel like because I'm a broke bitch, I'm able to get the big bag at Sephora, but this time I was, so I was like, yes. So first thing I'm gonna show you, and I already started trying these products, but I put them back in the bag just so I could kind of show you guys what I got. So this is the first thing that caught my eye. Uh, if you don't know, I'm trying to branch out into freelance. So yeah, so I wanted to start branching into freelancing and um, I wanted to start building my kit slowly but surely. And I wanted to have the brushes that were just for my kit. I didn't want to like, not that I don't mind using my brushes too, but I just like the thought of having brushes that are like, what's the word? They all cohesive, I guess. They all go together. They're just, you know. I don't know if I'm making sense, but it just seems more professional. So anyways, yeah. She wants my little blanket and I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Long story short, I wanted to get a kit and I actually have a freelancing um, job coming up at the end of May Memorial Weekend. I got asked to be a part of helping with the wedding which will be my first like big um freelancing job i do like my friends here and there but that's about it like that's the extent of it so yeah so i'm just gonna open this up and show you guys what the kit looks like and because of my discount it made it easier to purchase that's why i bought it because if i didn't have my discount i would probably wouldn't have bought it but so it's the sephora or pro collection brushes so it comes with one two three five six face brush six face brushes and one two three four and then five um eye brushes so I just thought it was perfect for um when I start doing freelancing and the cool thing about it is it cut this case it like I want to show it it like flaps out like this so you can set it down and work with it instead of like having your brushes all laid out so it comes with this really cool case really sleek so I'm excited about that so the next thing I got is this limited edition um, Marc Jacobs coconut bronzer in the Omega bronzer in the shade um, what's the shade? Tantastic that's the shade name and guys when I tell you this packaging is so luxurious it makes me feel like I'm rich <laughs> so this is what it looks like it's just a pretty white packaging and oh my god it's just so sleek and thin and this bronzer guys is huge I mean and it smells it's like coconut can you imagine just it reminds me of like if you were to go on the beach with just like bronzer and highlight on and you just like soaked in the sun and you had a margarita that's what this bronzer reminds me of it's not too warm not too cool it's not gonna be like cool to where it's ashy but it's not gonna be warm where you're orange it's just the perfect i'm wearing it today oh i don't know if you can tell from this far away but it's just the perfect bronzer shade and there's like 25 grams i don't want to blind you there are 25 grams of product in this bronzer, so it is expensive, very expensive, like extremely expensive, it's $50, um, but it's going to last you a really long time, and it's limited edition, and the packaging is beautiful, and it smells like coconuts. I mean, if that's not enough reasons to buy this bronzer, I don't know what it is, but yeah, so far I'm obsessed with our skincare. So the first thing is I got the um, um, Carez Greek Yogurt Foaming Cream Cleanser. And guys, I'm obsessed with Carez products. Like I have, I like four other Carez products besides this. And they, 
so good. They have changed my, like, that's where I started when I started my skincare journey, when I started working at Sephora. And this line has helped me so much. And um, one of the girls that used to work with me, she came in one night and she bought this. And I was like, oh, you know, I was curious. I'm like, have you tried it? Or is this your first time? She's like, I am obsessed with this. I have oily skin. It is the best thing that's happened for my skin. It makes me feel plump, uh, luscious. And I'm like, that's exactly what I want. And I'm oily. So I was like, yes. So yeah. So I have been trying this out. I said this for all skin types. And it just feels really nice on your skin. It's just really smooth. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. But it's really, so far I like it. Next thing I got is this Belief Aqua Balm Moisturizer. Because I had like the Ola, Ula Hendrickson Oil Control Moisturizer. But I wanted something a little more hydrating. Um, but without making me like oily. So this one's good because it's water based. They have one that's... Um, more oil based for like drier skin um this one's good for oily skin or like combo skin and it smells really good and it's just uh, so far I mean I like all this stuff so far um it just looks like that and it just feels really lightweight on your skin but it also makes you feel really hydrated which is what I've been missing because my skin let me tell you, even if you're oily, your skin can be dehydrated, and I didn't know that. And so when they showed me, like, how do you, because we have a moisture meter at work that tells you how dry your skin is. Not dry, like how dehydrated your skin is. So you can be oily, but that doesn't mean you're hydrated. That just means you're overcompensating for the fact that you don't have any moisture in your skin, or you don't have any hydration in your skin. So I've noticed a major difference in my skin not being as oily. And I think, I honestly think it's because I've been giving the proper moisture to my skin, the proper hydration to my skin. So yeah, so if you're out there and you're watching this and you didn't know that, um, if you have oily skin, don't think that you, you know, oh, I'm not going to use a moisturizer because it's going to make me more greasy or oily. No, just get something that's more water-based if you're more oily and it's going to help hydrate your skin so your skin doesn't overproduce those oils and it doesn't like, um, it doesn't try to make up for the fact that there's just no hydration in your skin. So that is a fun fact I learned. But yeah, this is the Belief Aqua, uh, Aqua Balm. And then the next thing I got was recommended um, from a guy I work with. And because I was looking for something that like helped tighten pores and like resurfaced my skin and just made it look fresh, um, tight, no pores. Well, not no pores, but like tighter pores to where they weren't so open and big. So, he recommended the Herbivore Blue Tansy uh, Resurfacing Clarifying Mask. So, what you do is, this stuff, I'm not crazy about the smell, but I think it's just because it's like a, like a chemical peel type thing. Um, basically, you clean your face, and then you put this on, and you leave it like a thin layer, and you leave it on for 20 minutes. And then it's going to tingle, um, or kind of like a burning sensation for like the first 30 seconds, but then it goes away. And what it's doing is it's resurfacing your skin. It's getting, it's dragging all of those, like the dirt out of your pores and stuff. And it's just like, it's just sucking that out. And so far, it's really nice. Um, like I said, I have it for a couple days now. And I really like how it makes my face look afterwards. It just makes it look plump and refreshed and clean and yeah so that is blue tansy from herbivore so i also something i learned from sephora was that uh in your skincare routine you need an spf and i still to this day am bad about like spfs i don't have any spfs for my face other than what i just bought and um i didn't realize how much the sun ages you so if you're not putting any kind of protectant on your face, even if it's not like that bright outside, that's doing damage to your skin. So in order to keep like the preventatives from uh, wrinkles and um, crow's feet, stuff like that, you want to try to always have an SPF under your makeup. And so I picked this up. This is the Super Goof Setting Mist Broad Spectrum SPF 50. And you put it over your makeup, so I'm like, okay, that's cool, just spritz it and go. So, yeah. So it's actually pretty cool. You take it out, and you shake it really well, and then you just hold it away from your face, and you spray it like a setting spray. But it's protecting you from the sun, 
So that's pretty cool. It kind of does like a multi-purpose of setting your makeup, but also protecting you from those harsh um, UV rays and stuff like that. Um, so far, I don't really know how I feel about this just because I noticed when I've been using this, I went to work a couple times and when I used it, I noticed, I don't know if it was my foundation because I never had the problem before, but I would get like blotchy, I had like blotches. I don't know if it's how I was spraying it, I don't know if it's this product doing it. Um, so I don't know 100% if this is doing it or not. But yeah, um, I mean, it's a cool idea for sure. It makes it easier to just, if you think of it like a setting spray, it makes it easier because you don't hardly ever forget a setting spray. But how many times you're like, oh, who put SPF on? I mean, in my opinion, I don't do that. So yeah, that is that is from Super Goop. Super Goop. I don't know if I mentioned that to you or not. <laughs> but all right, everyone, that is the Sephora haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um... Like I said in the beginning of this video, I love you guys so much and your support means everything to me. Um, just keep leaving comments and letting me know your feedback, letting me know what you want to see because you know I love that shit. So guys, I am going to go now, but I hope you enjoyed this video and you have a great day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next Bye!